One of the first things Dave Stewart will tell you, how do you win 20 games? You take advantage of an underrated defense. McGuire at 6'5", about 230. Well, he just heads off a ball destined for right field. Would have tied it up 4-4. Four to four. Good play by Stewart covering first base, something you do all spring training and really paid off here. Great agility for the big guy. So the Giants settle for the two on Kennedy's two-run single in the fourth inning. And now on to the fifth. In the top of the order with Ricky Henderson facing Kelly Downs on the pitch inside, ball one. One thing McGuire's play did is it kept Downs in the game. Had he not been able to throw Sheridan out at first base, Craig would have been compelled to go to the bench, and then Brantley would have been in. Now you not only have Downs pitching in the top of the fifth inning, but assuming he keeps the A's close, he would probably lead off in the bottom of the fifth. Strike to Henderson. And the count is two and one. If young hitters could only understand that you become a better hitter when you take a pitcher's pitch. That was the 15th strike Ricky Henderson has taken during the series. It's almost a misnomer. People say, well, how can you be a better hitter if you take? The reason to take is to get ahead. And Ricky Henderson often hits ahead in the count. Two and two the count. And now it's full. And once again, he runs it to three and two. You know, it brings up a perfect point. Hitters that swing at balls hardly ever get strikes to swing at. Because pitchers are smart enough to know that they don't want to get them out inside the strike zone. They want to have them expand the strike zone. And Henderson is on. So, Ricky Henderson leading off, which is just the way the the A's like it, not only at the start of the game, but in any particular inning. It's the third time he's led off tonight and the second time he's reached. And Lansford comes to the plate. Clark holding Henderson on at first. Ricky 77 steals during the regular season and caught just 14 times. And the pitch to Lansford is inside, ball one. And what he makes you do, Ricky Henderson, as a, as a pitcher is... Most of the time, you got to either throw a hard breaking ball or the fastball. It makes you jump because you want to get the ball to home plate in such a hurry. It ruins your timing. One and one. Downs both times on both pitches thus far to Lansford, keeping Henderson close to first. But again, as you mentioned, it's not the lead. It's can you stop him? Can you take a look at Ricky as he stopped? In other words, is he static? Is he stationary? This time he goes, gets a good jump, the pitch misses, and the throw to second misses as well. And Henderson with a steal. And there was a quick release, a good fastball, a good pitch for Kenny to throw on. No chance, because he had a running lead. His momentum was going to second base. It wasn't that his gravity was going towards the ground, going back to first base. Another thing speed does for you, it allows you not to have to give up outs. Normally, with, with routine speed at first base, Lancer, Lansford will be, would be bunting in a situation like this. He may be now with the count, two balls and a strike. But again, Anderson, after stealing second, would be more tentative stealing third until there's one out. And he looked like he may have jammed his right wrist sliding into mm -hmm. second base. And Dr. Clark, Al Clark, takes a look at it. Meanwhile, Henderson, 11 steals. That breaks Lopes' record in 81. And again, of course, you only had the World Series through 1969 when the leagues expanded and divided into divisions and then postseason play. And in 81, in fact, Lopes had an extra set of games because that was the year of the strike, and they had divisional playoffs as well. Inside ball three, three and one the count on Lansford. So Henderson setting the record in 
what would be his eighth postseason game. Five in the playoffs and now three in the series. And Lansford is on. So Downs has walked the first two A's here in the fifth inning and Canseco comes to the plate. And Cray goes to the mound and what's the most important inning for Downs because the Giants scrambling back into the game with two in the bottom of the fourth. And the last thing they'll want to see is the A's reestablish a two or three run cushion. Yeah, any momentum that the Giants have going for them can be stifled right here. First two guys on. Boy, but what a tremendous year Lansford's had. I, only one month that he hit under 300. I think that was June. Two months he hit over 400. 336. And uh, Tim, you told us that's the highest since uh, he led the American League and then batting back in the early 80s. comes to the plate. He singled in the first inning to snap an 0 for 23 streak over the last two World Series. Then he grounded out in the third. And he comes up here with runners at first and second and nobody out. He's ahead by a run and the Giants not even remotely thinking but the infield back at what would be regular depth. to the upper deck behind us and the count is 0-1. There's Brantley again throwing in the bullpen up for the second time. Again, the pitcher due to lead off at the bottom of the fifth. If Craig had to go to his bullpen here in the inning, he'd probably make a double switch and send either Maldonado or Nixon into right field and have them bat ninth and the pitcher hit eighth. in the second. Lansford is the runner at first. 0-1 the count. Breaking pitch. 
see this three-run homer. Downs dropped down, and Conseco went downtown. Flat breaking ball. Get it into area code 900. And they count 0-2. Yeah, that's the way to exercise the demons of World Series pass. Get a hanging slider when you're trying to make contact. You know he can hit it 550 feet. Well, he only drilled that one about 420 on the line. And the count on McGuire is one ball and two strikes. Now, if you went to any pitcher in the American League and you say, what's the one pitch you don't want to throw hey, Jose Canseco? That's a flat slider in the center of the plate. That's what Downs did. Breaking pitch takes care of McGuire, so Downs finally gets the first out of the fifth inning. One down, and it will bring up Dave Henderson, who has done his damage tonight by virtue of a double to score two in the first and a solo homer in the fourth. Oakland has hit three homers in the game. Dave Henderson, Phillips, and Canseco, and the Giants, the home run by Matt Williams. And your point about walk, so well taken. Of the nine Oakland Athletics that have walked, six have scored. Well, when you look at their lineup, there are, are situations, of course, in baseball where you can you could just say all of the time, hey, you, you can't walk people. It'll come back to hurt you. But especially in a lineup like this one. And there's another towering drive to deep center field. Butler goes back, and Henderson has hit his second home run. by the A's, the fifth on this winless night at Candlestick, and it's eight to three. And everybody was figuring, well, the layoff would do one thing. The pitchers would be way yeah. ahead of the hitters. Say what? Oh, well, Ricky Henderson said it best. Hey, we hit off some pretty good pitchers in these inner squad games. Look like they missed the beat. World Series record for most home runs in a game is six. We've had five. Here comes Brantley, and back we come to Candlestick Park after this. to help us show you why the new half-ton Chevy work truck is better than Ford with more two-sided galvanized steel, more standard power, and a new Duragrill that's tougher than Ford. Better not hit a Ford like this. Know why? You know why. Nobody's winning like the heartbeat of America. Today's truck is Chevrolet. Mountain region. I enjoyed the great outdoors. I enjoyed having some time off to fish, to ski, play soccer. 12 or 13 of us have played together now for 8 to 10 years. We just have a good time. What Tom does is he doesn't care if we make mistakes. He doesn't get down on anybody, he treats everybody fair. It's all teamwork, it's, you know, no individual players. A lot of these players depend on Tom Dater for their life insurance. Good hustle, good comeback. He's been on their team for 10 years and with New York Life for 18 years. Well, why would I buy insurance from a stranger when I can buy it from the worst fullback in Boise? New York Life, the company you keep. When lunch and a day at the park are too much for Tommy Lasorda, he reaches for Rolaids. Nothing works better for acid indigestion. And why should heartburn take the fun out of the game? Relief, you know how to spell it. Jeff Brantley comes in to pitch, and the first man he faces is Terry Steinbach. Brantley will hit in the number eight spot, and as we had suggested, Candy Maldonado comes into the game in a double switch in right field batting ninth, which means Maldonado, and there he is, taking Sheridan's spot in the outfield, will lead off in the bottom of the fifth inning. 
One out in the fifth inning, eight to three. Oakland, Dave Henderson with two home runs and a double that hit the top of the fence. Two and one the count. as a long man now, but as Craig looks ahead and looks down the line, he thinks Brantley will make a terrific closer. And the count, three balls and two strikes. And that's one of the reasons 91 mile per hour fastball, at least over the ability to throw it over 90 miles per hour, pretty good breaking ball. As almost all the pitchers here in San Francisco throws the Roger Craig split finger fastball. Three and two on Steinbach. Eight runs and eight hits for the A's, including four homers. Three runs and four hits for the Giants, including one homer. And that's ball four. So Steinbach draws the third walk of the inning. Phillips comes up. Home runs in two consecutive innings. Who's done it? It's pretty good company. Babe Ruth. Big Clue, Reggie, 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 Willie Mays, Akins, and D. Henderson does it tonight. And Tony Phillips could do it, too. He homered in the fourth inning. Bay Day, Bay Day. I'll tell you what, if Phillips, only, after only hitting four all year, hits two home runs in back-to-back -back innings, we're playing with 1987 baseballs, in spite of what it says on them. They're going out like that tonight, but that, that's Candlestick Park on a windless night. On a windy night, you don't know what you're going to get. Because there's no such thing as a prevailing wind here. What you really have in Candlestick Park when it blows is wind shear. But tonight... And this is a typical October night. Everybody making such a big deal out of what will Candlestick be like in October. It was like that in the playoffs. Like that tonight. And we've got a four. So you even have balks on windless nights at Candlestick. The most famous balk of all, of course, was Stu Miller in the wind in the All-Star game in 62. Live, that's in for a strike, and the count one and one. Oh, Vic Bell Botaggio thought he started his windup. If he started all and stopped, of course, Chef Brantley will tell you, I stepped off before I broke my hands or I stopped my windup. Does put a runner in scoring position. One, one to Phillips. Good fastball, and the count is one and two. Uh, still, but I believe Stu Miller still lives around the, the area here. Boy, what a relief pitcher he was. Do you ever hit off him, Tim? <laughs> or try to hit off him? I was up there against him. <laughs> the head jerk, right? Oh. The parachute ball. In fact, he originated the BP fastball. The routine pitch he threw in there with a neck jerk. And Phillips has gone on strike. Phillips thinking it was the third out. Was ready to flip his helmet away. He already thrown the bat away. And momentarily avoids a little embarrassment and would have had we not brought it up, I suppose. But <laughs> there it is for all of you to see. Oh, yeah. Three gone. Not quite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. That's what long innings will do to you. Tony almost had our tape truck rolling in a commercial. Two down, and Weiss at the plate. The count one and oh. Eight to three Oakland in the fifth inning. If the Giants go down 0-3, no team has ever overcome that deficit, but several have overcome 0-2 since the mid-50s. None before that, the first time a team came back from 0-2, it was the Dodgers winning their first ever world title in Brooklyn in 55.
But since then, it's become more common than uncommon. The majority of teams since that point have overcome 0-2. 2-1. There it is, nine of the last 17, and you don't have to go back very far. The Mets did it in 86. Royals did it in 85. And Weiss, it's a bouncer to the hole. Clark fields and flips the ball to Brantley, and that's that. But a damaging inning for the Giants as the A's pick up four and lead it eight to three. Small business is America's future. A recent report on the Commerce nation's Department said the demand for durable goods totaled 100. The Small Business Administration foresees the increase. Running in a growing business is no small job. It will be here. <laughs> Managing working capital, financing, pension plans, and retirement planning. That is right. Today, growing businesses can look to Merrill Lynch for a wide range of services to help them achieve that most elusive goal: success. Merrill Lynch, a tradition of trust. Open your eyes up! Hey, check out the old timer. Come on, will you? Come on! I've done it. I've got it. I've got it. It was the chance of a lifetime. I know. Hey, 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 see if you can hang on to this. <laughs> Now, Chevrolet offers cash back on even more new Chevy trucks. Up to $1,250 cash back or 6.9% financing on most new Chevy trucks. Pickups, vans, Suburbans, Chevy Blazers. Now, Chevrolet offers cash back on even more new Chevy trucks, which means now is the best time to see your Chevy dealer. Nobody's winning like the heartbeat of America. Today's truck is Chevrolet. It can stop the hottest action. The Minolta Maxim 3000i. Ultra wide angles. Over 30 autofocus lenses. Extreme telephoto zooms. It captures what no snapshot camera can, even in difficult lighting. It's the autofocus SLR that's this easy. The incomparable Maxim 3000i. Only from the mind of Minolta. Find out about Fergie, the Duchess of York, Kathleen Turner, and Ted Danson. I'm sweating profusely, so I guess the answer is yes. The all-new Barbara Walters special, Wednesday night. Candlestick Park. Where the game began in sunshine at about 5.30. The Goodyear blimp hovering high above Candlestick Park. John Creighton is the, uh, the pilot. Sully sending the shots down from above. Candlestick Park, which uh, was erupting in the bottom of the fourth inning as the Giants rallied to get back into the game. Dave Stewart, and we mentioned Dave Stewart and what he has said over the, uh, this terrible stretch of time. One of his remarks right there. Four is from the area, born and raised in what's known as the East Bay, and now coming back home to enjoy the fruits of his career, and he's at the pinnacle of it right now. A man who, as many of you know, was released in 1986, looking for a job. Boy, has he ever found one. Maldonado on a half swing, gets it softly by the mound. Phillips is there to come up with it. And Candy is gone on the first pitch in the bottom of the fifth inning. So one away. And Brett Butler comes to the plate. Stewart, released by the Phillies in 86, told us before the World Series that that wasn't the low point. The low point was five days later when the phone had not rung. He said that was the lowest of the low. Because then you feel you may be done. Truly. Butler takes outside ball one. Yeah, and, and such outstanding ability. I saw him pitch early 80s and into the 80s. Always had a great arm. But he's certainly become an outstanding pitcher. And 
I say that, I mean really mixes up his pitch as well. We have not seen a curveball. He used to be a fastball curveball pitcher. Tonight he has stayed really with a fastball and a split finger, and it's been a struggle. Butler hits one to center field. Dave Henderson is right there. Two down. But the one thing that Dave Stewart will do is throw the ball over. Only one walk tonight. That was over felt last inning. So with an 8-3 to three lead, he's not afraid to come in there, even if he gets behind. Well, the split-finger fastball has really been his salvation. Encouraged to throw it by Dave Duncan. Interesting story about how Duncan learned about the split-finger fastball. Robbie Thompson hits a fly ball to shallow left field, and Henderson comes on, and Ricky makes the catch on the run. So a quick inning for Dave Stewart as the Giants go out one, two, three here in the fifth. It remains eight to three A's and will return after a word from our ABC stations. Wednesday. Duke, we're libido slaves to something that's bigger than all of us. David, did you take out the trash? Dookie Hauser, MD. Then. You went like this. I use sex. Not, not sex. Those. Anything but love. The Dream Series is here. Catch all the action, the plays, and the players from both sides of the bay. A Channel 7 World Series special tonight following the game. You know, I bought my Toyota Camry because three separate mechanics, Fred, Jeff, and Kevin, told me the Camry was a really reliable car. Now he waves when he goes by the shop. But he doesn't stop. I can't believe you told him to buy such a reliable car. They were right. My Camry's been really dependable. I didn't tell him to buy one. I said they were reliable. You did too. <laughs> He'll never see me again. <laughs> no use crying over spilled milk. I love what you do for me, Toyota. Dear Wells Fargo, I was trying to balance my checkbook two weeks ago on Sunday and realized I hadn't entered two checks. I dialed the number on my statement and a pleasant agent answered the phone and within a minute came back with the information I needed. I'm very busy at work and it was nice to be able to take care of it while I had the time. Thanks, Wells Fargo. I'm impressed. Wells Fargo, proven 24-hour person-to-person checking. You've got to hear it to believe it. Your Giants A's World Series station. To the sixth inning in game three. Al Michaels, Jim Palmer, Tim McCarver with the A's on top. Eight to three and Dave Stewart leading off. Then Ricky Henderson and Carney Lansford. And Stewart chops one off his arm at the plate. One and one on Stewart who is 0 for 2 tonight. And again, no American League pitcher with a World Series hit since 1979. Dave not worried about hits, he's worried about at-bats. If he gets up four times, he's pitched well. <laughs> Shallow right center, Robbie Thompson says he'll take care of it. Stewart is 0 for 3, and Ricky Henderson comes up. It's the first time in the game Henderson has not let off an inning. Talked about Dave Stewart and that split finger fastball. Everybody thinks Roger Craig is the guru and certainly he's the modern day guru of the split finger fastball. But we mentioned Dave Duncan. Dave Duncan, the pitching coach of the Oakland Athletics, found out about the split finger fastball in a very unusual way. Gaylord Perry, when pitching for the Cleveland Indians, there's Dave in the middle of your screen. When pitching for the Cleveland Indians in 1973, everybody thought, Dave told me, everybody thought he was throwing splitters or, or spitters then, and he was throwing splitters, not spitters. And he saw how effective that pitch was and has been very helpful with the Oakland pitching staff in teaching it to them. That's grounded sharply on a hop to third, and Overfell fires to first, and they take care of Henderson. So Ricky is gone. Henderson, by the way, that's the 35th plate appearance for him in postseason, and he's reached 21 times, and that's 
So 60% on and 40 off. Oberkel throwing them out. Not a tough play, but when you've been a pinch hitter all year, they're all difficult. Makes it easily. Now Lansford hits it in the air to left field and deep, and going back is Mitchell, and that one is gone. And that ties a World Series record for most home runs in the game by a team, and most in the game by two teams as well. It's nine to three. The Yankees against the Cardinals in 1928 hit five in a game. And there have been six in the game from both clubs on three separate occasions and now four. And Canseco at the plate takes a strike and the count is on one. fading back, still going back on the track and makes the catch. And so even the outs are long as the A's go down in the sixth. It's nine to three Oakland. You can spend considerable time looking for opportunity or you can save time by listening to this news about opportunities and energy. Demand for oil and gas is strong and should continue to grow, providing certain stocks with what we believe to be significant potential and investors with a timely opportunity. Call us. Merrill Lynch, a tradition of trust. I love what you do for me, Toyota. I love how you set me free, Toyota. Toyota's new four-wheel drive, four-door, four-runner for 1990. Space, luxury, and V6 power. Where you go is your concern. Getting you back is ours. I said I got dirty an awful lot when I was little. What am I doing here? You know this. You're playing baseball. Yeah, that's right. It came natural to get dirty. Johnson's baby shampoo has been great for my hair all through my life. It's strong. It makes my hair look clean. It makes my hair feel clean, and uh, it's gentle. Look at this kid's hair. I think it looks good. <laughs> Johnson's baby shampoo. Now also with conditioners for extra control. I shower four or five times a day. It's never made me cry. Johnson's for the life of your hair. More police cars come on Goodyear Eagle radios than any other brand of tires. Why? Because they want it that way. Goodyear Eagles, there really is a difference. Happy man, Walter A. Haas Jr., his wife Evelyn. He owns the Oakland A's. He's also the managing general partner, and he is a San Franciscan. But he is more of a in East Bayard in the world of baseball as his team is now 12 outs away from being one game away, one victory away from a world title. Nine to three, the A's on top as we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Will Clark, Kevin Mitchell, and Kim Overfell. Two balls and no strikes to count on Clark. Weiss's neighborhood. One away. So one gone, and Kevin Mitchell is the batter. And with the NFL season coming up to the halfway mark, the Minnesota Vikings take on the New York Giants. A great matchup at the Meadowlands on Monday at 9 Eastern time. You'll see Herschel Walker against the Giants, leaders in the NFC East. A great way to spend Monday night, as always, with the Gifford and Double D. I don't know who else at this point. <laughs> it's the Mitchell for a strike and the count on one. 
The way things are going, you might make it. <laughs> well, game four here tomorrow. Game five, if necessary, would be played at Candlestick Park on Sunday. And if the series were then to continue on, Monday would be an off day, and then Tuesday, and if necessary, Wednesday, at the Oakland Coliseum. Rolling Stones notwithstanding. Don Robinson will be tomorrow night's pitcher. Rick Russell was hit the other day by a line drive off the back of his shoulder, had a blue as well, and he's been pushed back in the rotation. Big Daddy, and there he is. I think he's feeling a little better as far as the flu is concerned. The question is his shoulder. But Robinson is uh, in, in ink tomorrow, and Russell in pencil for Sunday. You know, baseball is a marvelous game. Tim, you talked about the fact that the Stewart's a fly ball pitcher, 100 more outs with fly balls and grounders, and on a night where the ball is flying, and yet to hit a home run. Excuse me, only the home run by Williams. Only three ground ball outs retired by Dave Stewart. He has struck out seven and walked only one. The center field, Dave Henderson moving over. And Henderson, who spent uh, a brief part of 1987 in a giant uniform, makes the catch. So well, we mentioned most home runs in a game. One team, the A's tying the mark tonight. The Yankees against the Cardinals. Babe Ruth hit three. Lou Gehrig hit one. I'm not sure if you heard of those two fellas, but I know you all remember Cedric Durst, who hit the fifth. Pitch the over it fell. Missing ball one, one and oh. Best friends called a brick. You're certainly aware of that. There is the Transamerica Pyramid accentuating the skyline of San Francisco. And that's a base hit in the right field by Oberfeld. So Oberfeld picks up the Giants' fifth hit. Two out single here in the sixth inning, and Matt Williams comes to the plate. He homered in the second and struck out in the fourth. Tony La Russa, Dave Duncan. Seventh we go, 9-3, A's. I've been working out for quite a few years now. And I found it's easier to stay in shape when I do a lot of different things. That way I never get bored. So I never quit. I guess I'm old fashioned. I think people should be able to eat good food without spending much money. Excuse me. <laughs> so uh, Wendy's is introducing a new super value menu. Oops. Everything on it is at a special low price. Biggie drinks, biggie fries, chili, including our new junior bacon cheeseburger. Delicious food that leaves change in your pocket. Oh. What do you have to know to get a seat around here? Come try the super value menu at Wendy's. You're in Hong Kong. I like it. I like you loud and clear. I like you close and near. I like my MCI. I like to wander and roam. I like to call back home. I like more. more. I like my MCI. I like my MCI. Hello. I'm Matt Williams of the San Francisco Giants. Thousands of volunteers have helped those affected by the earthquake, and you can help too. Make a credit card contribution by calling 
453-9000 or send your contribution to the American Red Cross Disaster Relief, P.O. Box 37243, Washington, D.C., 20013. And please, specify that your contribution go to the Bay Area Earthquake Relief Effort. We thank you for your support. The 1989 World Series, brought to you by Toyota, who urges you to help relieve the suffering caused by the recent earthquake through a donation to the Red Cross. And back at Candlestick Park, on we go to the seventh inning, game three of the World Series. The Athletics trying to go up three games to nothing. And they lead it 9-3, to three, back of Dave Stewart, and on the strength of five home runs. Mark McGuire, who hit 33 during the regular season, has not joined the home run parade tonight. Swings and misses, and the count is 0-1. Or during the series, only Mark McGuire and Ricky Henderson have not homered for the A's, and that includes Dave Parker, the designated hitter. Seven A's have combined for the home runs in this series. They have really spread it around. There's David. Night off. No DH here. Two and one. I wonder if Parker's going to have a matching set of those earrings after the, uh, the World Series. <laughs> yeah, he said, I won't help him offensively. He said, but I'll tell you what, I can cheer. I make a great cheerleader. year 38 come back to have that kind of year 22 home runs 97 RBIs which led the A's three and two the count yeah well there you saw well there you saw Dave Henderson you saw one earring probably will get the other one with McGuire 49 home runs three years ago then 32 33 this year the two guys in major league history the other guy Jose Canseco to hit 30 plus their first three years McGuire is on, so another walk to an Oakland A, and that's been poisoned through postseason for the opposition. And here is Dave Henderson, hit a home or hit a double off the top of the fence, missed the home run by inches in the first, homered in the fourth, homered in the fifth. Outside of that, nothing. It doesn't look like the Giants pitching staff, not pitching in their squad games, are very sharp. You know, Grell struggled, Downs who pitched well. Struggled not only with control, but also the type of stuff he had, and Brantley's all over the place. One and oh the count. Bob Lillis, Roger Craig, Norm Sherry, Bill Fahey. Quiet giant dugout. Henderson fouls it away. Think about Henderson and the way he responds in postseason, the, the dramatic home run. In the fifth game of the playoffs in 86, sending the, the Red Sox to an eventual pennant. And then, were it not for the Mets' comeback in the sixth game of the World Series, he'd have won that game with a home run. Yeah. And also a sacrifice fly in the 11th inning, won it for the Boston Red Sox in game five after he had tied it in the ninth. Exactly. Lost in the shuffle. And that home run, by the way, in the fifth game of the playoffs against the Angels was his only hit in that series. One for nine. Two and one to count. Atley Hamager gets up in the giant bullpen. Brantley is due to hit second in the bottom of the seventh. This will be his final inning as Henderson fouls it away. It's funny how certain guys just, just seem to wind up where the action is. Joe Morgan used to be that way, whether he was at Houston or Cincinnati or San Francisco and the Giants uh, came close to, to winning a division crown in 82. Philadelphia, those guys would always seem to wind up in, in postseason action. And here's Dave Henderson. Boston in 86. The Giants in 87, though, he was ineligible for the playoffs. Oakland last year, Oakland this year. Oberfeld to Thompson 1, the first for 2. So they finally get Henderson and get a bonus as well as he grounds into a double play. And there are two down with the bases empty. And Terry Steinbach coming up. Yeah, I always felt that Dave Henderson was a realist. And the statement he made during the delay from the earthquake, he said, you know, when guys were complaining, a little bit impatient, he said, let them go home. They're not under contract. They don't want to hang around and play the World Series, something we have strived all year for. Let them go home. 
That's grounded through Oberfeld's leg, backed up by Williams, and too late at first base. So E5, as Ken Oberfeld can come up with it. And the A's with Steinbach at first base and two down have Phillips coming to the plate. Ball stayed down on Oberkfell. Watch it hug the ground. And Obie's glove is up and it scoots on through for the first error of the ball game. And that brings up a point you made in the, I think, first in 87. If you're playing the infield, you always want to stay below the hop. In other right. words, a lot easier to come up than to go down. That was a perfect illustration. I'll tell you, the first time I ever heard that explained in that particular fashion was from Bob Kennedy, who was the minor league director director of the Cardinals back in 1973. Keep your glove below the hop. And that's the Bob Kennedy, who's Terry's dad. Right. And is now a Giants executive. Now is the minor league director of the San Francisco Giants. down with Phillips at the plate and he grounds it toward the hole the Thompson is there to one handed on the grass and get him at the end of six and a half it remains nine three A's occasionally through the sands of time there emerge designs which are viewed as more than evolutionary the revolutionary 1990 Toyota Celica. Cold filter. Never heat pasteurized. Miller Genuine Draft. For those who've discovered its smooth, real draft beer taste, the world is a very cool place, so tap into the cold. Cold filtered Miller Genuine Draft. It goes with the boys that play in the dirt. It goes with the joy. It goes with the hurt. It goes with the men you can't finish in. It's there when you lose. There when you win. The finance ministers of the seven most prosperous Volkswagen. The world has become a global marketplace. Last year, Merrill Lynch helped corporations and governments raise $230 billion for building industries and creating opportunities. We're proud to have inspired that much trust. Merrill Lynch, a tradition of trust. Next Friday, if you could live anywhere in America, where would you live? The experts pick the best and the worst. Find out on 2020 next Friday. You know, one thing, the crowd is pretty quiet now because it's 9-3 for the opposition at Candlestick Park. It's worth noting, they were boisterous early on. It was uh, an ebullient kind of crowd, and there was no question the people in the Bay Area overwhelmingly wanted the World Series to continue. No question about it. No, they've been waiting for baseball for 10 days. I think they're a little tentative now, especially the Giant fans. Sure. Well, there was so much talk about whether or not the World Series would have credibility and all of the rest as Kennedy begins the bottom of the seventh by popping out to Lansford. But if you were here, and we have all been here through the duration and talked to people and felt the pulse and all of that, there was no question in my mind that the overwhelming majority wanted it to be played. In fact, there was a poll yesterday, a phone-in poll. The results were in the San Francisco Examiner, the afternoon paper. Four out of five said, keep on going. And it was real simple. The people who loved baseball wanted baseball. The people who were ambivalent about baseball before were going to be ambivalent after. It didn't yep. matter to them. But it was an option. It was a choice. And certainly the response tonight of this crowd with Ernest Riles hitting here for Brantley has proven it in spades. As we say right now, it's quiet because their team is down by six. But you could really feel it 
during the free game ceremonies at the start of the game when Matt Williams hit his home run and when the Giants rallied for two in the fourth. I mean, they were really into it. There's a high fly ball to center field, but room there for Dave Henderson. Backing up over the track. And Riles is out number two. So two down here in the seventh inning. And Candy Maldonado comes to the plate. Adley Hamaker has made his way in from the bullpen. He'll be the new pitcher in the top of the eighth inning. There's Adley. When you talk about momentum and the crowd being in the ball game, you got to go back to that great play that McGuire made. Had Stewart on the ropes, the diving, sprawling play to end the inning in the third. Tied it up. Check that the actually the fourth inning. And if he doesn't get him at first base, the other thing that would have done is it would have made Trey hit for Downs. And as it turned out, Downs didn't have it tonight. Three run home by home run by Conseco in the next inning. Two pitch is taken high, ball one, one and two. A lot of people would argue, of course, the Dodgers had the lowest earn run average in ball of Major League Pitching. They don't have a DH over there in the National League, but second consecutive year, the A's have led the American League in earn run average. And there's a reason for that. Postseason play, no pitcher winning two games in both the championship series, the World Series in the same year, and Stewart trying to, to do it tonight. There was, however, a pitcher that won four games in postseason play. That was Bird Hooten back in 1981. But one of those games was in the Divisional Championship Series when the Dodgers played the Houston Astros. They won one in the Divisional Championship Series, two in the NLCS, and one in the World Series. Now the Nano barely stays alive in the count. Three and two. You can't hide from computers forever. He got burned once. I already got one big expensive computer system in the storeroom. The only guy that could work it moved to L.A. Well, good the computer if nobody uses it. I hear he's working on a new system. He said he won't let his people work on anything he can't use himself. Maybe this computer's different. Macintosh has the power to change the way you feel about computers. The power to be your best. I'll, I'll be. I'll be. Even when all of Company B heads for the phone, it's no problem for Gail Godfrey. Delta Airlines, Gail Godfrey. Y'all heard of Lubbock, Texas? Yes, that is confirmed. I got some friends who want to talk to you now. Just hold on a second. Thank you. Cincinnati, Ohio. New York City. Monroe, Louisiana. Albuquerque, New Mexico. San Jose, California. Portland, Oregon. Three, Montana. You're all set. Thank you for calling, Delta. Bye-bye. Hi, Gail. Did you get many calls this afternoon? One. Delta, we love to fly, and it shows...
double play. Oh, Balky. Watch Perfect Strangers in action next Friday. Al Michaels, Jim Palmer, Tim McCarver to the eighth inning. Atley Hamaker is the new giant pitcher. And Walt Weiss leading off for the A's. 0-1 oh, the count. Weiss, and then we're going to see a pinch hitter. Dave Stewart has gone to the clubhouse. He's done after seven. Lance Blankenship has come out on deck. And then we'll see Ricky Henderson. There's a chopper, and it is a fair ball fielded by Overfell. Throw too late. So Weiss legs out an infield single. Looks like it may have even bounced off the corner of the plate and high in the air, and so Weiss is on. And Will Clark does all he can. He tries to cheat. Watch him leave the base just a tad early. He tried to get it, but it appeared that Weiss just beat the play. Good call by Dutch Renner. Here is Lance Blankenship getting his first chance to play in the World Series. This year, spent some time at Tacoma. 25 games in AAA, 58 games with the A's. He is the only rookie on the A's roster. And he looks at a strike in the count on one. He can play the outfield or second base. Assume the role of a utility man with Weiss out with a knee injury for about 65 ball games. And he fouls it away, and the count is 0-2. That's a pretty good right fielder. I saw him make some excellent plays in Baltimore this summer. Very unusual that he's the only rookie on the Oakland roster also because Conseco, McGuire, and Walt Weiss were rookies of the year, three consecutive seasons, 86, 7, and 8. So by saying that Blankenship's the only rooker, a rookie on the Athletics Club is by no means to say that they're an old ball club. Mm -hmm. One and two. I and think they have the makings of dynastic proportions. Yeah, I was just about too. to say that's going to worry a lot of teams in the American League. Right. But 99, yeah, 99 wins, 104 last year. And not only that, but as they say with Henderson on deck, they're they're prouder of what they've done this year. With Canseco gone half the year and Weiss gone half the year, and Eckersley was out for a quarter of the season, and they were able to withstand the challenges of the the Royals and the Angels. I mean, the, for most of the season, you had the three best records in baseball all in the American League West. City winning over 90 games. The same with the Angels. I think they won 91. Stayed right with them. 2-2 Two -two is ripped back through the middle for a base hit. Weiss will stop at second as Butler's throw comes in. And so back-to-back -back singles beginning the eighth inning and Ricky Henderson will be coming to the plate. He's on top 9-3. to three. Game 4 tomorrow, Saturday. 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Pacific. We'll be with you. Boy, no chance. A lot of hard hit balls tonight. Mike Moore, who was the winner in game two tomorrow, and Don Robinson pushed up ahead of Rick Russell to work. 8 o'clock Eastern time from Candlestick. Manana. Ricky Henderson. I mentioned before, Henderson, one of the few A's who is at the park because he lives on this side of the bay. And if, if Tony La Russa did, well, I guess, one thing wrong in this World Series, he had the team bus leave a little too late today at 145 with the Bay Bridge down and down until the end of November. That cuts off the major artery and that the A's had to come over on the San Mateo Bridge with a lot of traffic and they didn't get here until about 20 after 3. And Unless they had a shortened batting practice. <laughs> You'd never know it. Actually, when I think about it, maybe La Russa was dead right. <laughs> they didn't leave it in the cage. Didn't leave it in the rehearsal hall, did no, they? No, no. But yeah. Henderson lives uh, Henderson lives here uh, in Hillsboro, where the elite meet the heat. In 
he is among the elite. And that's hit in the air to center field. Brett Butler backs up. The runners are both tagging. Weiss is on his way to third, and then Blankenship holds at first as the throw comes in the second. So Weiss moves up 90 feet. The A's now have runners at the corners. As Henderson skies to center, and Carney Lansford comes to the plate. Yeah, good play by Brett Butler. Seems like it's insignificant, but trailing nine to three. But I'll tell you what, your motion wants you to have to keep the guy at second, but he doesn't throw that well. Good sense is let him go to third, keep the double play in order. Ricky's saying that could have been the sixth home run. He got a high slider and just got it up on the bat. Lansford chops one, and Overfill can't get it, and that'll score a run as Blankenship comes in, or Weiss comes in, and it's juggled by Mitchell, and another run scores as Blankenship crosses the plate following Weiss, and the A's add two more and lead it 11-3. to three. And for Lansford, his third hit, he has a single, a walk, a home run, and now a chopping base hit. Outstanding base running by Lance Blankenship. Going to third, making Mitchell hurry on the throw, and because Blankenship went to third, he's allowed to come home because it's the second error of the game against the Giants. The single, it's one run battered in. It's an error on Mitchell. It's 11 to three, and the batter is Jose Canseco. Little squiver to short. Williams throws the first, and that's too late as Clark has to come off the bag. And Lansford goes to third. And the two third basemen get together, and it's almost as if Oberfell said to Lansford one of those nights, and Carney said, yeah, I know. You can see Williams, he hurries, but Canseco can run. And right here, Clark trying to stay on the base. He is safe. I'll tell you what, Lansford, who was at second, went to third. I think Will Clark's thinking, hey, he may go home. Kind of undoubtful in an 11-3 ball game, but I think Will had Lansford on his mind. McGuire hits one in the air, twisting foul and dropping back out of play. 0-1. So Canseco with a single. He has three hits tonight. The A's have 13. Strangely, McGuire has none of those. And he's the cleanup hitter. So on a night when they tie the World Series record for most homers in the game, the man in the four hole hasn't hit the ball out of the infield. Of course, one of those did a lot of damage. The ball off Scott Carell's right side eventually led to Scott leaving the ball game. Barrage of a couple of home runs. 0 2 the count. A's ahead 11 to 3. So all three games routes to this point 5 0 Oakland in game one, 5 1 Oakland in game two. Not quite routes, but mini routes. Certainly domination because of the pitching. They've outscored the Giants 21 to 4. That is a collective route. Right. Leopard's throwing in the bullpen. That's hit back off Hammaker's glove. Thompson is there. Off balance throw. Gets him for the second out. But coming in to score is Lansford to make it 12 to 3. So McGuire will get an RBI 1 4 3. Third run across in the inning. Down to second on the play goes Canseco. And Dave Henderson comes up. Well, not hit hard off the fist. And you can just see what makes Robbie Thompson such a good second baseman. That's great range. Showed you about his bad arm. Doesn't get a lot on this, but McGuire does not run well. Two down. One and go the count.
preserve a start for the other man who was in your picture, Rick Russell. That's one that is sliced foul down the line and back out of play. And the count one and one. Probably wondering what Don Robinson is thinking about after watching the home run barrage by the A's. But professional pride makes you think you're going to pitch better than your teammates. You're going to learn from their mistakes. They like Don Robinson because he's got such a tremendous competitive nature. Knee problems kept him from pitching as much as he'd like. Well, with a 12 to 3 lead. Dave Henderson finds a way to go to first base the hard way. And I'll tell you what, somebody from San Francisco is going to go down next mm -hmm. inning because this is the purpose pitch. Yeah, early in, earlier yeah. in the game, it didn't appear to be intentional, but this one appears to be certainly more intentional than earlier. Yeah, you know, if you're Tony La Russa, you don't want to see your guys get hit. You know, also, you don't want to get the in a throwing contest because what happens most guys get hurt I mean, either one of somebody on your team or whatever but the one thing Tony will not stand for is guys throwing at Dave Henderson or McGuire's or Conseco's you just can't let it happen 1-0 pitch is whacked into left field for a base hit Mitchell comes up with the ball as Canseco rounds third and he comes in to score and it's 13 to 3 on a single by Steinbach as he joins the hit parade. That's his first hit of the night. Roger Craig goes to the mound and Craig Lefferts will very possibly be summoned into the bullpen and you can turn that possibly into definitely. So in will come Lefferts, the sprinter. But the A's on top, 13 to 3. Most men won't even discuss it with their wives, but when they start losing their hair, they talk about it with me. I say don't waste your time with those miracle formulas. The Food and Drug Administration says there's no proof that they grow hair. The thing to do is to see a doctor. Doctors have the only treatment programs that are proven to work. Men listen because they know I'm making sense. After all, I'm a doctor. Only your doctor has treatment programs that work. So see your doctor or call this toll-free number. Well, fans, it all comes down to this moment. This is where it all gets decided. Johnson steps in, checks the signs, makes a few adjustments. This is a classic confrontation. He's digging in. Here's the delivery. And there it goes. He's going back, back, way back. It is going, going, it is gone. Pepsi, a generation ahead. The ball game's over. Introducing the 1990 Toyota Celica. Its totally new shape will please your sense of design. stimulate your sense of excitement. The all-new Toyota Celica. You'll love what it does for you. This is the shop of Samsat Pazar, a thriving establishment on the outskirts of Bangkok. Unlike other international executives, he has no phone system, no computers, not even a fax machine. He does, however, enjoy one modern and efficient service nearly 4 billion people in 175 countries today can take for granted. UPS. We run the tightest ship in the shipping business. Behind the closed doors of Richard Nixon's White House, a private look at the fall of an American president. AT&T presents The Final Days, Sunday. Eighth inning, it's 13-3 to three, Oakland. Craig Lefferts comes in to pitch, and Tony Phillips becomes the ninth A to bat in the eighth. Pitch away, ball one. So the A's with two on, two out, four over in the inning. Ricky Henderson's mom, Bobby, she, she moved recently, had a new phone installed, 
gave her son the number and said, Ricky, don't lose that number. Oh, you quit. Oh, no, stop it. Yeah, well, it's 13 to 3. What do you want? <laughs> ahead. That's hit in the air to center field. Brett Butler is there. And he makes the catch. But the A's bat around in the eighth. They had four. And at the end of seven and a half, it's 13 to three, Oakland. How to get your package through a Mediterranean storm. Most Federal Express overseas employees are from overseas. So they not only know the local customs regulations, they know the local customs. And that helps your package sail right through. Because when delivering in Rome, it helps to be a Roman. Federal Express, the best way to ship it over here, is now the best way to ship it over there. McDonald's has a monster of an idea. Happy Halloween certificates. A book of ten is only a dollar. Your gang can turn them in for free dessert treats like cones and sample size sundaes at McDonald's. Each book also comes with a mail-in certificate for this free Roger Rabbit when you buy your video cassette of the smash hit who framed Roger Rabbit. McDonald's Happy Halloween Certificates. A deal so good, it's eerie. There's something elemental in us all. A basic need to seek out for ourselves a quiet place. Oshkosh now makes clothing for that search. Clothing that brings together the soul of both nature and man. Rugged, comfortable, enduring. Celebrate your natural instincts in Oshkosh Sportswear. Now available at Sears. Over its life, a Motorcraft battery delivers enough energy to light up a small park, like Candlestick Park. Shouldn't you install that peace of mind? Motorcraft quality parts from Ford. Now, what makes me look so successful? This watch? Well, it's absolutely worthless in a business situation. When I leave the room, it leaves the room. My brochure stays behind. Think about it. Find out about Fergie, the Duchess of York, Kathleen Turner, and Ted Danson. I'm sweating profusely, so I guess the answer is yes. The all-new Barbara Walters special, Wednesday night. 13 to 3, the A's on top. Those in yellow making a change or coming into the game. The new right fielder, Stan Javier, he'll hit in the two spot. Lance Blankenship, the second baseman, stays in the game, hits ninth. The new pitcher is Rick Honeycutt who will bat in the three spot. Canseco comes out of the game. Tony Phillips at third base now moves over from second. So you saw the defensive alignment as Honeycutt takes the mound after Stewart goes seven. And Danell Nixon will lead things off against Honeycutt. So Nixon batting for Butler. He'll be followed by Thompson. Litton has already come out on deck, so even Robbie will come out of the game. And then Clark. Two hopper to short. One-handed by Weiss over to McGuire. And quickly one away. Robbie Thompson. Due up, and Greg Litton to bat for him to make his first appearance. Good year blip. Covering high above. Candlestick Park. Where they have begun to file out, as you might suspect. But did we get an official attendance figure tonight? We'll have to round that up for you. 
It was totally sold out as Linton grounds one just out of the outstretched reach of Weiss in the center field for a base hit. So Linton is on with one out in the eighth inning, and Will Clark will come to the plate. Linton, who had an excellent year, a utility player, can play a little bit of the outfield, infield. An alley hitter, and he does what you want to do when you're trailing by 10 runs, 13 to 3. Hit it back up the middle. Another perspective, you got a pretty good idea of what kind of range Walt Wright Weiss has at shortstop. Almost got to that ball. The attendance tonight, 62,038. And it's just about total capacity. Clark fouls it away. I thought, actually, the only people who probably didn't show up are those who may have thrown away their ticket stubs or lost them. Or, I know a lot of people obviously came to town and then had to leave town for whatever reason. But uh, about as close to capacity as you can come, though they have begun to filter away. 0-1 on Clark. Of course, for those who have followed this franchise through the years, it is some sight to see this place filled. The Giants were a team that were a step away from leaving the area in the mid-70s, the nadir of the franchise. Horace Stoneham starting to run out of money. In fact, it, it precipitated the great line by then third base coach Joe Amalfitano in 1974 when Patty Hearst was abducted and nobody had any idea as to her whereabouts. Joey said, why don't they check the upper deck? Nobody's been there for five years. Clark fouls it away in the count one and two. But Bob Lurie took over in 76, and back came the franchise and the A's as well under the Haas family, and now the Bay Area, once thought by some to be unable to support two teams, does so now to the tune of next year probably over five million people. into Rick Honeycutt. Joe D. Joe DiMaggio next to Bobby Brown. And Joe, and you, you've probably been reading about him with his home in, in the Marina District, but he is now, we understand, able to move back into it. I'm not sure he is in it, but I know he is able to. The house has been checked. He will be without natural gas for about five months, though. Some of the pipeline still broken. Kevin Mitchell takes a strike in the count on one. Well, the earthquake, of course, knows no boundaries, and it's brought home when you, you take a look at that shot of, of DiMaggio waiting in a line with his neighbors, trying to check his home last week. One and one. There is a fella in the ballpark tonight, as a matter of fact, who, who was going to move into his home on the same street on which Joe DiMaggio lives, and that's Bob Welch. He was going to move in November 1st. Cosmetic damage done to his home. Grounded to Phillips at third. He waits for Blankenship to get over for the fourth, and the Giants are done in the eighth. On to the ninth, 13-3 to three in front of Joe D. never agree on a restaurant, right? Hey, I ordered already. I found us a great wine. Oh, a decision maker. Yeah. Oh, this is wonderful wine. I had this at David's. I served this at my place. It was a big hit. Oh, you guys, I was hoping you hadn't tried it yet. Oh, come on. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> we finally found something we all agree on, you know? I mean, when was the last time that happened? Wow. Ernest and Julio Gallo invite you to try <laughs> White Grenache. It will change the way you think about Gallo. I got a meter. Down, boy. Well, it's now or never. Attention, shoppers. You're at a romantic dinner at her place. Candlelight, wine, something with a little spinach in it. And for dessert, Come on. humble pie. If she sees your dandruff. I don't have dandruff. Fine. Use your regular shampoo. I can't have dandruff. IL-9. You mean you use head and shoulders? Yeah. But you don't have dandruff. Right. Neither will she. Head and shoulders. Hi. Because you never get a second chance to make a first impression. There are out there with bulging biceps. There are a lot of guys out there with 21-inch necks. 
There are a lot of guys out there with bad intentions. But there's only one guy out there who can beat all those guys up, and that's Mike Tyson. And these days, he does his best work on HBO. Nobody brings it home like HBO. Oh, sorry. I guess I'm old patience. I think people should be able to eat good food without spending much money. Excuse me. <laughs> so uh, Wendy's is introducing a new super value menu. Oops. Everything on it is at a special low price. Biggie drinks, biggie fries, chili, including our new junior bacon cheeseburger. Delicious food that leaves change in your pocket. Oh. Who do you have to know to get a seat around here? Come try the super value menu at Wendy's. Heisman Trophy candidate Anthony Thompson leads Indiana into Michigan to face the fifth-ranked Wolverines. Big Ten rivals kick off an ABC college football doubleheader Saturday. For the Giants now, Donnell Nixon, who hit for Butler, spells bread in center as well, hitting in the one spot. Greg Litton, who batted for Robbie Thompson, takes Robbie's spot at second. Hitting in the two spot, Kurt Manwaring comes in to catch. Kerry Kennedy is done for the night. Kurt hitting in the number seven spot. And to the ninth inning we go. 13 to three A's. Craig Leffords delivers to Walt Weiss. Ball one, one and another count. Weiss hitting for the fifth time in the game and when your number eight hitter comes up five times in the game, you know you've had a big night. Dennis Eckersley. Not much to do tonight. No saves on this horizon. Two and one. I'll tell you, the more you think about it, when Dave Henderson was hit in the top of the eighth inning, Rick Honeycutt didn't retaliate in the bottom of the eighth inning, and I think that was a very shrewd move. And the reason, I think literally, you let sleeping giants lie mm -hmm. in this particular instance. Mm -hmm. I mean, the A's have just blown the Giants out three games in a row, and they don't want them to get off the mat. Nope, not at all. You're exactly right. There's Litton underneath it with Maldonado in the neighborhood. One away. Weiss is gone. Blankenship comes up. Roger Craig looking as much like Lyndon Johnson as ever. And we can tell you this telecast is presented by authority of Major League Baseball. May not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form without the express written consent of Major League Baseball. So this World Series, after the long and unprecedented and tragic, of course, delay, resuming and really picking up where it left off. Domination by the A's. And as life kind of comes back to normal, baseball is back and football played in the Bay Area by the colleges and by the 49ers. I guess we really knew it was back a week after the quake last Tuesday when a local insert in the morning news show here had as its lead Zsa in her impending sentence. I guess that really brought it back to reality. Huh? Sure did. <laughs> Three days in the jail of your choice. I wonder if they have room service. Two and one. That was her biggest concern. She didn't want to eat fattening food. I wonder if they put stars on their menu. You know, these are the, the healthy dishes. Little squiver off to the right of the mound, and it's overrun by Leffords, and then Clark Sweet nets nothing but air, and Blankenship is aboard again. So Lance, who pinched it in the eighth inning and single will not get a base hit this time. They're going to charge Lefferts with an error. Third error, and it's a, it is a tough play because Blankenship, we've already seen his speed on the bases. Greg Lefferts knows he has to hurry. You see Clark with a, a board late tag. Right here, he's going to take it himself. Doesn't come up with it. Be the third error. Ricky Henderson up for the sixth time in the game. Looks at a strike. I'll tell you, if the Giants continue to play like this and the A's continue to play like this, the Athletics are going to be in the driver's seat like Jaja. Mm. Also. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the beginning.
getting all that new jewelry as well. And the Giants will now be faced with a task that no team has been able to accomplish. Down zip three and win the World Series. In fact, win any postseason series, including the playoffs. Strike, one and two. Don Robinson goes to the mound tomorrow. He would have pitched in the original game three, the night of the quake. Bob Welch would have pitched in the original game three, the night of the quake, and each pushed back. Pretty good ride. Two down. Saw that shot of Bob Welch. He was telling us before the game that he and his wife had looked for that house on the same street as Joe DiMaggio for 18 months and had yet to move in it. Closed it. And then the earthquake hit. Yep. About 10 days before he was supposed to move in. Mike Gallego will now pinch hit here in the ninth inning. Gene Nelson in the bullpen. What they did, they moved Javier when he came into the game into the three spot. We had assumed they were going to put him in the two spot. Normally you take the non-pitcher and move him higher in the order, but they're staying on deck batting in the three spot. So Gallego is really hitting for Honeycutt, and we'll see Nelson in the ninth inning. And Gallego fouls it back. And there is Gino, who will finish it up. Ticket agent Sam Singletary knows how to get people moving. Mr. Franklin, Mr. Franklin, you're back. But sometimes he has to show off a few moves of his own, the kind of moves that made him a first-string halfback. Sam Singletary shares a feeling with everyone at Delta. He loves what he's doing, and it shows. We love to fly. He's the king. McDonald's has a monster of an idea. Happy Halloween certificates. A book of ten is only a dollar. Your gang can turn them in for free dessert treats like cones and sample size sundaes at McDonald's. Each book also comes with a mail-in certificate for this free Roger Rabbit when you buy your video cassette of the smash hit who framed Roger Rabbit. McDonald's Happy Halloween certificates. A deal so good, it's eerie. From now on, nobody uses a drop of water in this house without written permission from me. They don't use this much water at SeaWorld. Family matters. Next Friday. Candlestick Park, 13 to 3. How about this game in microcosm? Dave Henderson. 
Tony Phillips, Jose Canseco, Hindu again, and Carney Lansford. Five home runs. Dave Stewart, meanwhile, pitches well enough, and the A's are three outs away from being one game away from their first world title since 1974. Ken Overfell is the batter. Funny, the last time a team scored 13 runs in a World Series game, the Cardinals did it against Milwaukee in 1982, and there's the new defensive alignment for Oakland. In that game, in that 13-1 Cardinal win over the Brewers, Overfell was a Cardinal. So he's seen it from both ends. I think that was game six in St. Louis. John Stuper, the winning pitcher, and he pitched a complete game with about a three-hour rain delay in that ball game. Meanwhile, the Giants on the short end of the... The biggest run output in World Series history, the Yankees scoring 18 in a game in 36. The Yankees got 16 against the Bucks in 60, but of course Mazarovsky ended that World Series with a dramatic home run and a Pirate title. Three and one on Obergefell. Will Clark, he was one for four tonight.
snapped his collarbone in two in winter ball. So his throwing has been a problem, but they think he may be starting giant catcher in 1990. There's a high drive to deep left field. Tony Phillips goes all the way back, and that one is gone. even that play flawlessly as the A's 
one to the count. The only error the A's have made on the first play of the game back in game one. That was Dave Stewart's throwing error. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm watching, I'm looking at all of these flashlights. It's incredible how many people brought flashlights to the game tonight. I mean, they brought the, the emergency kit right with them. The ballpark, twinkling. And it's grounded in the center for a base hit. Nixon with a two-out single in the ninth inning. Greg Litton comes to the plate. And Todd Burns throws to the bullpen. And Dave Duncan's going to visit the mound. And actually, it's LaRusa who's going to visit the mound. After Duncan had started out, Tony says, nope, I'll take care of it and bring in a reliever. Announcing a new generation of owner satisfaction. We're so sure you'll love your new Oldsmobile. We'll let you return it within 30 days or 1,500 miles if you don't. Who else does that? Unlike some warranties, Oldsmobile's covers just one part. This is the part. Oldsmobile now offers roadside assistance around the clock, even in places where there aren't any clocks. The Oldsmobile Edge, there's nothing else like it. Well, fans, it all comes down to this moment. This is where it all gets decided. Johnson steps in, checks the signs, makes a few adjustments. This is a classic confrontation. He's digging in. Here's the delivery. And there it goes. He's going back, back, way back. It is going, going, it is gone. Pepsi, a generation ahead. IBM technology is helping to explore the Earth's crust. Conventional methods probe to about five miles. But at Cornell University, an IBM supercomputing system analyzes seismic data at such high speed, geologists are now charting the Earth's crust 20, 25, even 30 miles deep. In geology, in other sciences, and in business, supercomputing is another example of IBM technology at work.
taken most of the regulars out. They came back and at one point were down eight to nothing in that game. And then they erased a seven-run Dodger lead in September as well. Matt Young is in the bullpen. In that game in Cincinnati, Will Clark was taken out for a rest. And Mike Malaga, a first baseman that is not on the San Francisco roster, figured prominently in that game. Had a game-winning two-run homer. And he also had a huge three-run double off Hershiser in a 3-2 victory in September. And Clark has won. So, runners at first and second. And this uh, walk in the park has become uh, a little something different for La Russa and Dennis Eckersley. All of a sudden goes to the bullpen, and Dave Duncan goes to the mound. If nothing else, this is this is not what La Russa wanted to happen in the sense that if he gets Eckersley's up, he wants him to pitch. He doesn't want to waste him throwing on a night when he doesn't pitch. He's real careful about that, but he doesn't have that luxury right now. He's got to get him up.